Okay, here we go. Best level in the game, by far. <laughs> You're freaking ice skating. And of course, that would seem a little bit corny, except if, if it wasn't so damn fun. Woo! This level's awesome. It's a bitch to get 100%, but it's awesome. Oh! With some pretty epic music, too. I don't think it's the best track in the game, but it is pretty epic. A lot of people consider it to be the best track. And I'm not, it's definitely an amazing track, one of the top five in the game, but I think some of the forest tracks, that one forest track, I like better. Uh, this probably is a close second or third, but... Uh, this game, I think the original Pac-Man World has a little bit better music. Here's the thing. This level is so awesome and so fast-paced that if you miss something, you don't really give a shit to go back. Cause I don't even know if you could. Can you go back? Yeah, but look, at, look, look, it kills everything. That was... ruined everything. Whoop! Hey, one orange. I got them all. Whoop! Yeah! I, uh, I want to do it flawless. No, I want to do that flawless. Am I at the beginning? Please? Eh, it's not the beginning, but it's close enough. Alright, I want to do this flawless, because I'm going to lose all credibility if I don't. I haven't played this in a while, though. I just know this is the best level in the game. This is another one of those tracks where it's hard to tell if it's MIDI or orchestrated. I'm still not 100% sure! Whoa! Because a lot of times when they say, Why the hell are these games using MIDI tracks? Everyone's moving to or orchestrated. Even then, it sounds like... You can barely tell. It's like Twilight Princess. I, c I can barely tell they were MIDI because they were such good quality. But, you know, I guess people... Are, I guess a lot of people are just music freaks, and while I love video game music, I'm not that anal to find out, Oh, it's not 100% quality. It's still awesome, though. I'm, oh my god. Man, if Pac-Man was still around, like, playing this at like video games live would be orgasmic. That would be awesome. A lot of crashing. It's really not a hard level, except if you screw up like I did and kick a little bit too late, that's about it. I think this level was just made to, uh, well, as a bitch to get 100% in, but... Just as, like, fun, fast-paced, man. Whenever Namco does something like this, it's awesome. It's like, you know, Klonoa again, where they just have those areas where you're constantly moving, those snowboard sections with Klonoa too. Those sections are amazing. I don't know, Namco can do these, like, straight-running, can't-look-back sections. They can do these perfect, man. They always do this so spot-on. And there's two levels in, the ga in this game that uh, do this. There's another skating level in the final world. Um... It's not ice skating, it's just weird skating, but it's not as good as this level. A lot of fruit. A lot of fruit. And there's only one orange. Why? Hey, hey, look at all them cherries. Which way is open? I can barely tell. That's another thing I like about this level. It doesn't look like a level where it's like, hey, it's an ice cave, but there's like, there's bats, you know. There's stuff you wouldn't ex expect to see in an actual, you know, ice cave where it's supposed to be empty. It's like, actually, it looked like a cave. It was empty. And Galaxian can go screw himself. I guess it was uh, sort of a realistic ice cave, to an extent. But, you know, I like I just like that it was, like, empty, and you can see the, the ice fumes. It was, it was awesome. 22 cherries, 23 strawberries, 1 orange, and 7 apples. You know, you're kind of uneven. What, they, what the f Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I complained to the last level of there being f too many fruit. They only had 4 fruit? How the hell were there no oranges? How the hell? They didn't balance the fruit at all, man. Who's the boss? Pinky's Revenge. Pinky's Revenge. Hey, girl. Yeah, because ghosts turn me on. Whoa, this music is way too cheery. It's the same boss, except icy. I'm trying to listen to the music, it's way too frickin' cheery, man. Are you even trying? You're not a lady, you're a ghost. Whoa! Whoa, God! 
Yeah. Dang it, I missed. Boom. Keep moving. Boom. Keep moving. Damn it. Go. Straight and then two. Straight. Okay, we can start with two. Fuck ah. Uh. Aha! Cursed again. Haha. No, I keep forgetting already. Two. One. Two. One. Okay. Two's gonna start with two. She's gonna start with two. It's not such a big deal, except for the fact that if you get hit once and it knocks you off the field. I'm through playing with you. See, this is something where Talkman in the first Pac-Man world could have been so much more improved if they actually let you come back in the different sequences, as opposed to redoing the whole fight. But I guess that's PlayStation 1 standards back then, you know, some advancements. Technically, technically coming back at, at a boss midway through is an advancement, and that just wasn't there at the time. Whoa, bouncy. Keep moving. Keep moving, Pinky. Oh god, don't do this to me. Oh, come on! Make up your mind! Okay, keep moving. Boom! Woohoo! Look him jump! Woo! The golden apple! Ba 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 Uh, yes, we'll save. Because I'm gonna have to cut the video right here. Yeah, the worlds are pretty short. And the next world is the lava world. Alright, this is, for memory, is the worst world, <laughs> the least favorite world of mine, but I'm probably better at it now. Alright, so hopefully you enjoy the ice world. Come back next video for the lava world. See you then.